हेलो यूट्यूब Welcome back to Bariatric Brew. Thanks for joining in. Uh, yo, I don't know what what vlog number this is. This they just the weeks are flying by, and uh, so much is happening in the lives of everybody at the moment. I guess so. Uh, yeah, where are we with this week? So, as you can see, I'm back in East London, back to work. Well, I started work last week. Um, Got a lot on the go at the moment with uh, at Mercedes, so uh, I was in meetings and everything last week for much of much of the week. I um, I must admit it was quite hard getting back. I think the adapting to the diet and um, being on the uh, sort of trying to get a routine going, uh, you know, trying to drink fifty sort of mils every twenty minutes, it, it will drive you berserk. So I, I might have taken a couple of shortcuts. Um, uh, but yeah, all in all, uh, last week was good. Uh, I lost three and a half kgs, I think it was. So I started off uh, at Novemberish, one forty, got down to about one thirty three, then went up to sur at surgery. I was one thirty five. Uh, currently sitting at one twenty six and a half, uh, which I'm really happy with. Really happy with um, down twenty twenty five odd centimeters. Um, which is crazy when you think about it. It's it's just amazing that that everything is 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 going so well. Um, I do feel for uh, another friend of mine who's um, you know, had the surgery at the same time for me, and it seems that her journey is 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 very different to mine in terms of um, the way she feels and things like that. Which goes to show, you know, everybody has a different journey with this bariatric surgery. Uh, no, not one size fits all, and. Um, yeah, it's just a case of, uh, I think uh, there, I, I found out fairly quickly what I was getting used to and what I was liking. Um, and uh, so that's what I stuck to. I didn't want to sort of uh, change too much. So I really stuck with the Ensure. Um, if I felt like something salty, I had the Marmite and water, uh, generally a lot of water, and then uh, Future Life, uh, you know, as porridge. So it was reasonably okay. Um I'm not going to tell a lie. I am really looking forward to Wednesday. Wednesday, I can have a scrambled egg. Yes, a scrambled egg. You guys, you must understand <laughs> how much I'm looking forward to having this egg. And I go into the pureed week, which is interesting because obviously you think pureed meat, but actually it's, uh, it's mince. So I bought, uh, there was no chicken mince. There was like, you know, chicken sausages, real chicken sausages. So I'm going to just take the, that minced up chicken from there. I'm allowed the, the grand total of three matchbox sizes. So I'll uh, take a couple of videos of my meals in the week. Um, and then uh, it's now to eating every three hours with water or liquid, any liquid before and after, no, no, more, no less than half an hour sort of either side of that. So um, it's a case of you can't drink and eat at the same time. You have to do one or the other. So it's going to be a busy week down here in East London. Um, I'm going to be quite distracted with work. So I, I think a lot of it's going to go into meal prep planning, um, which I'm going to start tomorrow night. Still got tomorrow on liquids. So I've got to just had some soup. Good old tomato soup seems to be my, my go-to for in terms of soup. And uh, I made myself a cup of tea, uh, so that I'm ready, uh, ready to hit the hit the sack later. Um, things to look forward to: Sam and Jamie are coming down this weekend um, to say how's it in uh, East London. We're going to try and rotate Sam and I, so that uh, one of us at least is, um, you know, avoiding to fly, or so I don't have to fly so much. Um, Jordan is uh, settling down in uh, in the Milton Keynes and starting to like it. The, uh, the initial quarantine that uh, she had to go through was really tough not being to go out but now that she's been able to go walk to the school and uh, she went out on Saturday and stuff I think things are really looking up for her and she's really starting to settle into life in the UK um, other than that pff, 
Not really much. Um, I went to Dr. Funnel last week, actually. With this, with this bariatrics, there's like certain stages. And if you sort of look forward to the next stage, you get through the current stage, if you know what I mean. So um, if, if you look at, uh, there was the surgery, then the day after the surgery, then being released from hospital. And then last week, Wednesday, uh, I, went to, I went to see Dr. Funnel at 9.30. Uh, he took the plasters off, um, the internal stitches, so I literally got five l small little cuts like this. A um, bit of bruising on the one, but to be honest, really happy with, with what he saw. And he sort of, he, he showed us parts of the surgery, like, you don't want to be seeing the inside of your own guts, people. Trust me, it don't look good. But uh, it was good for Dr. Funnel to to let me see what everything was like and uh, what the surgery, how the surgery went. I um, I mentioned to Sam on Sunday, Saturday or Sunday night, um, that I was quite, I wasn't quite sure that everything had gone to plan because like I didn't have any cramps, um, the water was okay, you know, going down, everything. I haven't had like, you know, you can read so much and um, I, I just didn't have any of these bad symptoms. So, um, especially with it being hot, I would have thought I would really feel dehydrated, but I, d I haven't. It's quite weird. So, um, Sam just turned around and said, oh, come on, you bloody paranoid idiot. Uh, you know, it's because you're stri sticking to it so strictly and it's going well, you know. Don't sort of knock something if it's going well. Don't always just expect something's not going to go right. So, um, I think it was kind of down actually on sort of Friday-ish because uh, I was down at, I was at 1.29.9 last week Monday and by sort of uh, Friday I was 128.4 um, and I just couldn't drop this, nothing that I was doing was dropping below the 128 and then um, yesterday I woke up and checked and I know I shouldn't be hoping on the scale every five minutes, I know, but uh, it's just something that I'm doing. I need to get out of it, I know. Uh, hopped on the scale, I was 127 point something. And then today, uh, 126.5. Uh, thrilled, absolutely thrilled. And of course, Sunday was Valentine's Day. Uh, we went out to Itala. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna plan on going to Shishlui, but with all the rain and everything that they've had up there, yo, even the, the, the uh, Black and Filosi was flooding over the, the, the low bridges there, uh, it was, uh, Shushlivi River was flooding, so um, we just went up to Itala uh, and spent the day there. Had a nice picnic. I um, <laughs> at uh, my lunch was a 50 milliliters of custard, which was great. Um, but a water and things like that. But yeah, it was lovely to get out uh, with Sam and Jamie on Valentine's Day. So I hope everybody had really well, well sort of spoilt on Valentine's Day. My girls were all spoilt. Uh, we have a rule of thumb, Sam and I, we, we always agree, no, we're not going to do anything. So I, I dropped Jamie out on Saturday night and I snuck to the shop. I snuck around the house, uh, some flowers and a box of chocolate. Um, so she was quite surprised when she woke up. I think uh, I was like laughing and I was so proud of myself that I'd done something and when I said I wasn't going to do anything. So Samantha said, well, my Valentine's present was the fact that I was so proud of myself <laughs> so yeah look um, she said she looked for something for me uh, at Woolworths but uh, she didn't want to buy another mug and there were no chocolates or anything that I could have so that was it that's about it this week not too much to say thanks for the support thanks for all the me messages from Germany to Netherlands to America to my friends in Australia New Zealand really really thanks a lot and of course, to everybody in South Africa, stick it out. We're all good. <laughs> Things aren't uh, as bad as we're making them out to be, especially when we can go down to the beach and have a jaw there. So uh, let's uh, try and get over this COVID nonsense and get traveling again. Yes, I can't wait to travel. Need to get to Romania and Germany and, uh, of course, need to get to the UK. And, uh, yeah. So thanks, everybody. Stay safe. All the best. See you next week.